Welcome back to the Kill Detection, and today we are going to be talking about this uh, bitey in, bitey hiney, bitey whatever thing here, this GPS. It's a BN220, and this dude is tiny. I love it. Here's, here's my finger. Now look at that. Again, I got a big finger, and, and you know, uh, keep your comments to yourself on that. But anyway... Um, I, I, I got this little tiny thing and I'm going to be replacing the GPS unit on this big 7 inch quad here because you know that is just a huge GPS unit on that thing in fact I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this up here just so you can see look at the size difference there and the weight difference and everything else and this particular little 7 inch quad this is my night vision quad and I got a little 1806 motor on it, and, and people yell at me all the time for that, for putting 7-inch props on 1806 motor. But this thing will stay in the air until, you know, I could throw it up in the air and take a nap and then wake up and still have plenty of battery left to drop it down and, and, and get her going. So I'm going to put this little light GPS on here, free up probably another maybe five or six grams off of this dude. And uh, we're going we're going to see if this actually is any better. Now, this GPS unit takes a long time to apparently acquire satellites, but this one is supposed to be nice and quick. So we'll just check on that, shall we? And there she is, sitting up all nice and pretty on top there. You can see the dude that I pulled off. That is a huge difference in the size, and that's just one of them them old dudes. And uh, We'll see, because this one, like I said, this big one would take like a minute and a half to pick up satellite. We're going to see sometimes like two minutes. I mean, it, it would vary quite widely. So uh, we're going to see how long it takes for this little dude to pick up satellites and, and get her up in the air. So uh, let's go throw her up in the air and see if she sticks. Now, the first thing we needed to test here was to see exactly how long it took to acquire GPS satellites. Now, of course, beta flight, I've got mine set to allow takeoff at 6. It took about 45 seconds to get 6. And if you notice, it popped up to 11 right about 1 minute and 15 seconds. That is much faster on a cold start than that other great big GPS puck. So, obviously, um, I guess they're trying to make us feel better and tell us that size doesn't matter. I, I don't know how that works in there. But, anyway, so what this is telling us is this is a better, higher quality puck. It is lighter, and it is a little bit more expensive, about five dollars more expensive than than the than the biggin. But this one is a better puck. It acquires satellites better. It holds them better, and it looks better. And it's smaller, lighter, and will take less juice to actually, you know, lift it in the air with the rest of your quad. So this is a better puck than that great biggin. And of course, I did this test, and it was a fairly clear night. And, uh, you know, it, well, I, I say clear night, it was overcast and foggy, but, I mean, you know, it wasn't storming or anything, so electrically it was fairly clear. But, uh, as you can see, this is my night vision quad, so I was flying this uh, probably about an hour after sunset, so, I mean, it was, it was pretty dark. But uh, I wanted to, to see also what a hot start, how long it would take to actually acquire GPS satellites with a hot start. And if you notice here, I, you know, had pretty good flight there and that was a thousand milliamp 4s battery so stayed in the air a while and if you notice here she is ready to go almost immediately if you notice the time down in that bottom corner it didn't take any time at all to acquire the gps satellites to get this thing in the air on a hot start but i mean that's pretty standard pretty standard fare when you're you know when you're looking at uh at these GPS pucks, if they're hot starting them, if you know, if you just pull a battery, put another battery in them, and throw them back up in the air, they 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 acquire satellites pretty quick. So, um, and uh, this is, you know, doing a little acro is not this quad's forte. Uh, just because the motors are so small and trying to, you know, manage those big old props, it it doesn't like to do it very much. But I figured, nah, we'll just play around a little bit. You know, it's dark, and if she goes down, I'm losing her forever. Oh, I just thought about that. That was scary. But, um, you know, I figured we'd, you know, have a little bit of fun with it while she was in the air. This one is on a 1300 milliamp hour three cell. And, uh, you know, she just did great. And I really do love this little puck. And I'm probably going to start replacing some of my ones that take a really, really long time to acquire satellites. I'm going to replace them with this little puck because, you know, it's, it's faster to acquire them, holds them better. And, 
does really well and I got it from Banggood and you can too so uh, you know you can click on the link down in the description and take you right to it and uh, enjoy so uh, have fun and uh, keep her in the air